Good morning and thank you for joining us for today's Daily Market Outlook. Joining me today is Michael from our trading room to tell us more about the recent developments. Michael. The dollar fell against a basket of major currencies after a report on the U.S. labor market fell well short of expectations, while the euro held near a one-month high on inflation worries. Asia's factory activity lost momentum in August as a resurgence in coronavirus measures disrupted supply chains across the region. Raising concerns, faltering manufacturing will compound slumping consumption. UK shares rose with mid-caps scaling a fresh high on the back of gains in industrial and consumer discretionary stocks, while investors awaited August factory activity data to gauge the pace of economic recovery. The euro-dollar pair made a minor upwards correction in the last session, rising 0.2%. The RSI's positive signal is in line with the overall technical analysis. The dollar-yen price remained largely unchanged in the last session. According to the CCI, we are in an overbought market. The gold dollar price remained largely unchanged in the last session. The stochastic indicator's negative signal contradicts our overall technical analysis. Alibaba stock rose 2.4% in the last session after gaining as much as 3% during the session. The MACD is giving a positive signal. The U.S. initial jobless claims will be released at 12.30 GMT. Japan's 10-year bond auction at 335 GMT, the Eurozone's producer price index at 900 GMT. Australia's imports will be released at 130 GMT, the U.S. unit labor costs at 1230 GMT, Australia's trade balance at 130 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to log in tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.